Looks like Valen sent her entire fleet. Where's the Gravestone? Odessa, I need a status report. Now. Valen caught us in dry dock. Just installed the last of those new upgrades. Need a few minutes to recalibrate our systems. Ground forces are holding the line until the Gravestone's up. But we're outnumbered and outgunned. A full-scale invasion is a desperate move. But if it works, she can wipe out the Alliance in one fell swoop. Unless we beat her, you and Lana can lead the charge. I'll do more damage if I slip behind enemy lines. I specifically ordered this battle to end quickly. The Alliance is showing unexpected resistance. We still have the advantage, but the price of victory will be high. Then pay it! Arkin is here. Mother, father, the Outlander. I will paint Odessan with their blood. Reinforcements heading Baywan's way. Baywan's forces were protecting the ship. What happened? They're still holding, but they need all the help they can get. My students and I sought to defend the Gravestone. And the artillery slowed our progress. I got this. Ogarok gave me some toys to take out their big guns. Does Ogarok have any other fancy gadgets we could use? Everything was deployed with the troops. Now he's busy securing the base. Keeping the enemy away from this research. Don't worry, though. I got everything I need to smash Valen's artillery. If we hit the enemy forces from behind, we buy the Gravestone some time. Hurry, we can't lose the Gravestone. Enemy troops broke through the lines. They're trying to take the Gravestone. Senya and I are close. We won't let them take the ship. Arkin and I are at the gravestone. Last time we met, you were in a coma. I awoke when I sensed Valen break her father's chains. And now I get to thank you for all you've done for me and for Arkin. It's time to repay our debt. Heads up! Got some uninvited guests. Can you and Arkin hold your positions? We can try, but without reinforcements. We can't lose the gravestone. We're on our way. They can't hold the gravestone much longer. Come on! We couldn't have held out much longer alone. I should have known Valen would attack Odessan. Just like Voss, you gave us shelter. And now you're paying the price. I helped you because I needed allies to stand against Valen. We've chosen to stand with you, Commander. We will not let Odessan fall to her. Walker's coming our way. Too many.
glad we installed those upgrades now. If the Eternal Fleet thought the Gravestone was trouble before, they're in for a nasty surprise. They still have the edge of numbers, but at least now we have a fighting chance. The Gravestone alone won't turn this battle. My sister is unleashing the full fury of the Eternal Empire on Odessin. Conquest isn't enough. She seeks to annihilate us. For her, this is personal. If we do a Valiant down to the surface, I can end this battle with a single fight. That shouldn't be hard. My daughter is blinded by her bloodlust. I'm on the enemy flank, joined up with Sana Ray. But we could use a little more firepower. Vana, help Theron. I'm heading to the front lines. Valen needs to know exactly where to find me. You won't have to face her alone. Arkin and I will join you. Don't do anything foolish when she shows up. She's stronger than you now. Together, we can defeat her. I believe in you. As do I. My daughter must be stopped. At any cost. Gravestone has joined the battle, but our fleet numbers make victory inevitable. Burn Odessin, and bring me the ashes. I want them for my garden. Father's pet. I was just talking about you. I've been up and down the battlefield looking for you. Can't believe you're cowering on a ship. I hide from no one. Now that I've broken Father's chains, I could crush you in a second. But that's too easy. I will chew up your friends and grind your precious alliance into paste. When I finally hunt you down, you will beg me to end your suffering. The longer you draw this out, the more time my agents have to infiltrate Zakul and steal away your throne. You're lying. My daughter has taken your bay. We should clear out as many enemy troops as possible before my sister arrives. Balin will be here soon. I want status updates. Fried those artillery guns as promised. I guess they weren't happy about it. They kind of got me pinned down. I'm gonna need a little help. That's not the only one in trouble. Enemy ambush cut us off. I'm the only one left. Position's about to be overrun. Yeah, well, I've got about two minutes before they squash me like a bug. Even you cannot save everyone, Outlander. By choosing who shall live, you also choose who shall die. Be ready for that burden. Vet, we're coming for you. I knew I could count on you. I'm not afraid to die. Just didn't think I'd go out like this. I've never known a Mandalorian to shy away from battle. You can fight your way to freedom. I've seen enough battles to know the odds. Just win this war so my life means something. Let's move. Vet needs our help. How long do you think Vet can hold her position? Long enough for us to get there. I hope. Vet, are you hurt? Roughed up a bit, but I'll survive. Not going to lie, I started to wonder if you'd make it. I would have been here sooner, but Valen kept throwing troops in the way. So on top of being a ruthless, bloodthirsty dictator, she's also rude. No wonder she has no friends. What about Torian? Torian, new copy. We're coming for you next. Wrong again, Outlander. I found your Mandalorian. Now he's all mine. You've got my attention. Good. That was the point. <sighs> when the Outlander comes for you, Arkin and I will be at his side. I'm counting on it, Mother. You got what you wanted. I'm on Odessin. Now let's end this. You don't have the guts to face me in a fair fight. 
I've broken father's chains. This fight will be anything but fair. I'm sending you a location. We meet there. Whoa. Feeling a bit lightheaded. I'll stay here and recover while you go smack Valen all the way back to Zakul. Sonaray's forces are being pushed back. Reinforcements heading her way. Finally. I was getting bored. And when I get bored, prisoners start losing limbs. It doesn't matter what happens to me, Commander. Just take her down! Let me speak to Father. Release Torian and I'll see what I can do. You actually care for the life of this crawling worm? Pathetic. What did Father ever see in you? Did he really think you could steal my throne? You are not worthy of the throne. You are not fit to rule the Eternal Empire. I'm more deserving than your new puppet. He can't even protect his own people. Now I'm going to make you suffer before you die. <laughs> Funny. I was just thinking the same thing. It must be Father's influence. She won't stop until all your allies lie dead at her feet. You know what you must do. Even Valkorion is too scared to face me now that my chains are broken. We aren't afraid. Enough blood has been spilled. This has to stop. Um, do you have any last words before I end this pitiful family reunion? I've given you every chance, Valen. But you've left me no choice. You can't be saved. I never wanted to be. This is <gasps> over. Even now, my daughter is a threat. Oh, Father, you know me so well. I have no more power over Vayner. Only you are strong enough to stop this. The Eternal Throne is mine! Forget the throne. Forget everything. The eternal fleet just retreated. Every single ship. God. Enemy lines have broken. It's a rout. They're surrendering by the thousands. My sister's rage was the only thing giving her troops the will to fight. Then it's over. We won. We won. I still can't believe Torian's gone. He sacrificed himself so our cause could live on. We will honor his memory, along with everyone who fell defending Odessan. We need to talk about my sister's death. I felt something when you struck her down, like her life force flowed into you. This happened once before, when Valkorion died. Unlike my father, Balin didn't have the power to transfer his spirit to a new host. It's possible you simply absorbed her strength while her spirit was obliterated. I hope that's all it was. If Valin was still alive inside me somehow, wouldn't I notice? Not if father is preventing it. I have no proof, but we both know we can't be trusted. Be careful. Commander, urgent distress call coming in from Empress Asina. 
Drummond Cass is under attack. The Eternal Fleet is bombing us from orbit. We won't abandon an ally. I'm sending our fleet, Empress, with the gravestone at its head. It's not just the Sith who are under attack, Commander. I'm picking up urgent distress signals from Coruscant and the other core worlds. We know Valen didn't order this. The Gemini captains must have gone rogue. There's more. Emergency calls coming in from Zakul. The Eternal Fleet set up a blockade. They're bombing them into oblivion. I won't sit by while the Eternal Fleet wipes out billions of lives. You cannot solve this with your armies and fleets. The Eternal Throne sits empty. Leaderless, the fleet has reverted to its most primal function, extermination. Unchecked, they will destroy all life in the galaxy. There is only one way to stop them. Claim the Eternal Throne and seize your destiny. Ready the Gravestone. We're going to Zakul. What's wrong? I had another nightmare. I was about to take the throne, but Valen was there waiting for me. She's gone now. It's her father we should worry about. Whatever he pulls, I'll be ready. Did you bring the holocron? I've been studying it since we escaped Mathema. The relic's function remains a mystery, but its power is undeniable. If it can protect you from Valkorion... Do you actually believe that dusty trinket can harm me? Keep playing nice, and we won't have to find out. I have no reason to betray you. Seek the Eternal Throne. We have sacrificed too much to turn on each other now. I... I felt his presence. How can you stand it? The more Valkorion talks, the more he reveals himself. It's what he keeps hidden that scares me. Commander to the bridge. Your crew's ready. It's time. This is it, people. The day we secure the Eternal Throne. Empress Valen has fallen. In her absence, the Eternal Fleet rampages across known space, threatening to wipe out all life in the galaxy. There's only one way to stop them. We must seize the throne. Problem is, those warships are blockading Zakul and bombing the city to rubble. The fleet will stop at nothing to protect the throne. No ship can break their blockade, not even to flee for safety. You know the Eternal Fleet better than anyone, Arkan. How do we break their blockade? You don't. The fleet was built on technology beyond anything in the Alliance. Except my favorite ship. If I reroute power to the Gravestone Shields, we'll crack that blockade. Then it's settled. When do we reach Zakul? Now!
break that blockade. Commander, if anything happens to me, it was worth every moment I've spent with you. I love you, Lana. Your taste of adrenaline. It suits you. We will join your fight, Commander. I started this war. Now, I'll help you end it. Let's take the throne and save your homeworld. For Zakul. For the Alliance. Favorite tactic among the Knights of the Cool. When I was in charge, the Knights had better aim. Bullseye. Indozal reporting for duty. Full of vigor and raring to serve the Alliance. Though that brass shot may have dislocated my shoulder. You can count on you. Now, give the signal and send the rebels to join the fight. My pleasure, Alexander. My compatriots borrowed artillery from the local militia. They'll begin raining fire any moment now, I'm sure of it. You and your friends will all have a place in the Alliance once this is over. I'm getting all misty. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must plan for your ascension to the throne. It will be my grandest party yet. Victory is almost upon us, but you ignore a closer threat. A disgraced former emperor, and his mother, a knight turned traitor. Strike down my family, and you will face no competition for the throne. Your family helped me save Odessa and defeat Valen. I won't turn against them now. Do not underestimate the temptation of the Eternal Throne. The cool burns. The Republic suffers. Command the throne and harness the power of the eternal fleet.
my throne. I took my brother's life here, provoked Valen's anger, abandoned the people of Zakul. I am not fit to rule. I never was. You are following Valkorian's twisted example, but you're a better man than he ever was. And you are even stronger. Claim the throne, Commander. You have earned it. Did it, Commander? Well done. After years of strife, you have become Emperor of Zakul, Commander of the Fleet, and heir to the Eternal Throne. Your family's caused enough damage. I won't let the throne fall into the wrong hands again. Neither will I. Father! You once bowed to me in this very room. You will do so again. You think I'm your puppet? Ah! Bow. As you command, my Emperor. You're an exemplary pawn. One I forged into a vessel of supreme power, worthy of preserving my spirit. Now I take your body as my own, and rule once more as the immortal Emperor. You can't do this, Valkorion. I already have. Wake up. Wake up! What happened? This isn't the first time I've had someone rewire my brain. Whatever tricks Valkorion's pulling, he can't deceive me. Your mind isn't controlled. It's broken. Valkorion shattered your mind and tossed you into the abyss of your psyche. He thinks you're dead, but you survived by assuming his form. Find the Holocron. Save yourself. When my son struck me down, I refuse to surrender to mortality. My spirit invaded your mind in search of a new host. You resisted. In time, my curiosity eroded, and a plan began. 
begin to take shape. I would hollow out your mind, take possession of your body, and ascend to the eternal throne. But first, I require new weapons to conquer your psyche. I pretended to abandon you on Odessa, but my departure was a ruse. Trapped in your mind, I silently observed how you behaved in my absence. Your strength grew. Your vulnerabilities festered. Locked in your mind, I conducted experiments to save my curiosity. I offered you my power, and you accepted it. I pushed you to defy Barkham, but instead you recruited him. I directed you to her, Freya, and when she threatened to life, I made them kneel before the Dragon of the Cruel. By striking her down, you unleashed her spirit and gave me the key to your ruin. The Outlander's alive. Father conquered his mind, but he's fighting back. Look out! The Outlander needs you. Father is too strong. You've proven yourself stronger. 
Show him the man you've become. my children. Now you will all be consumed by eternity! Enough! Conjure a hundred more holocrons, an arsenal of super weapons. Nothing will stop me. You're wrong, Valkorion. Kneel before the dragon of Zakru. No, that only works against Phelan. I control what happens here. And I say, what's good for Vayne is good for you. Clever. Kneel, father. Kneel before the dragon of Zakro! It's over. Let go. Senya. family for the last time. I am the immortal emperor. You cannot defeat me. Sooner or later, death was always going to catch up with you. Husband. Father. Monster! Say goodbye to your family. A god has no family. Before I graced you in my presence, you were nothing but moats of filth drowning in the chaos of the void. And you, a pawn of the Sith Empire, chasing hollow conspiracies. I forged you into a being worthy of the Eternal Throne. Without me, you are nothing. Enough. End this.
It's over. You defeated Valkorion. Once and for all. The immortal Emperor may be gone, but he left the galaxy in shambles. It's time to clean up his mess. The galaxy needs a leader if it ever hopes to fully recover. I've opened a system-wide hollow channel. The galaxy's ready to meet the new Emperor. I'm no Emperor. People of the galaxy, the war is over. The Eternal Fleet is pacified. Today marks the end of the Eternal Empire. The people of Zakul are now free to rule themselves. I will transform the throne into a beacon of peace, dedicated to helping Zakul recover from a war that nearly destroyed us all. We faced the full might of the Eternal Fleet. Watched cities fall. Friends die. We have suffered for the last time. The Eternal Fleet will now serve as a benevolent armada, delivering supplies, transporting refugees, and healing the damage this war inflicted. We must now look forward, beyond our homes, to the stars that surround us. This will be our new frontier, as we work together to rebuild the galaxy. By trusting in each other, we begin a new era in galactic history. The Age of the Eternal Alliance. in the party funny I thought you passed out on the dance floor I got a second win let me guess you saw the intelligence reports the Republic's preparing for war and the Sith Empire is not far behind so much for our friendly pact with Asina the eternal Alliance is only hours old but already I sense dark forces massing against us Uprising, sparking across the galaxy. We will defeat them. Tomorrow. Tonight, we celebrate. <laughs>